All right. Well, everybody, I'm so excited tonight to have our amazing speaker on here tonight. You know, we, I always love Thursday nights because it's a great time to come on and just listen to somebody amazing. And I've always said, if my story is not your story, there is a story out there. And for every guest who's on here tonight, I just want you to know that whatever your story is, trust me, and Mary Kay, with all the women we have, your story is just like somebody else's. So Heather Daniel Kent leads a team that has sold over a million dollars twice, okay? Her highest paycheck in one month, the company has paid her. Well, actually, her highest has not been written yet. Let's just say that. But the one that the company has paid her is 48000 But in 2020, she went online to check her bank account, and there was over $70,000 deposited in her account. Now, how many of you would like to wake up with $70,000 in your account? She's driven a new car for over 19 years. This costs nothing for her family. It's pink, and people talk and take pictures all the time. She's earned trips all around the world. I mean, it's amazing. And you've probably made over a million dollars since you've been in Mary Kay. Um, she is from the great state of Texas. Um, so the ability to pay off $65,000 in debt is her greatest accomplishment. But I'm going to have you turn it over to Heather so you can hear her amazing story. So let's give it up for Heather Daniel Kent. So Heather, take it away. Hi. Hi, everybody. And of course, then my cat just jumps on the computer. And so if you see a tail, uh, just go with it. That's Dorothy. So thank you for having me on. And thank you for um, guests. Just I told you there was a tail. Um, just listening to what Mary Kay could be. And I love stories. I don't know about you, but I love to hear other people's experiences with this company and just life in general. So let me tell you mine. And I'm sure you can find yourself somewhere in that. And I just celebrated my 20 year anniversary. So I was 26 when I started Mary Kay. And um, I will tell you, there are people that jump into Mary Kay. They see an opportunity and they're like, yes, this looks so fun and I am in. And then there are people like me, a complete brat. <laughs> that absolutely was me where I um, had just gotten engaged to Frank. Um, we had been engaged for a couple weeks and we went to a bridal fair. And, you know, you bridal fairs, I don't even know how they do them now, but back in the day, like you would go and you would talk to everybody and you would put your name in the drawings. And, and so I, there was a Mary Kay lady there and I was like, oh, hey, Frank, hold on. I'm going to go put my name in that drawing because I haven't used Mary Kay forever. It's what I used growing up and because I have extremely weird, sensitive skin. And it was the only thing that I could use. And my mom bought it for me and, and I hadn't seen anybody that sold it forever. And so I went to put my name over there and I said, Hey, do you have balancing moisturizer? You know, it's old school moisturizer. It's the only thing that didn't break my face out. And she goes, you know what? Um, I do, but not with me. And so if you want to come tomorrow, we're doing, it was Valentine's makeovers. So how appropriate is that? Valentine's makeovers. And you should just come check it out and you could try new things. And I'm like, okay, that sounds great. I'll be there. Okay. So I'm a social worker. I have a master's in criminal justice. I am not makeup-y. I am not a uh, girly at that point. Like, you know, social workers, when you work with juvenile delinquents that are committed to the state, the last thing you want to do as a 26-year-old is be cute. So, I mean, like I had really like just kind of lowered the bar for myself on appearance. And so when she says, come do makeovers, I was like, um, sure not going to do it. And so I remember leaving that bridal affair and Frank goes, so you're going to go to that makeover tomorrow. And I was like, no, I'm not going to a makeover tomorrow. I don't do people like me. Don't do stuff like that is what I said. And he said, but you just told her you would. And I was like, oh yeah. But I, I say a lot of things I don't mean. And I always <laughs> like, I'm just like cringe every time I say that, but it was true. That's, that's not who I was. I was not a makeup -y person. I was not a skincare person. I was not a be in front of people person. I was not, um, direct selling like none of that fit me. So I really was a complete brat about this until, until, until I saw the environment. And I, of course, love Mary Kay products. I am like the most diehard Mary Kay product girl in the world. You will never meet anybody that loves our products as much as I do. Like I am obsessive about our product line. And 
but that wasn't even why I said yes. I mean, 50% discount was really good. Um, Frank thought I could save money. I thought I could buy twice as much. We were not on the same page when we were <laughs> engaged. We were not, we were not speaking the same language, but I thought the product line would be why I said yes. But really why I said yes is I went to that meeting. She thought she just, she just wore me down. She, so if you've been worn down to be on this, it's okay. It's okay. I get it. I'm so thankful that that woman just would not stop with why I needed to be there. So I walk in and I'm in my little social worker mode and I'm, um, about the saddest person you could possibly imagine. I was angry. I was jaded. I was, I sat in the back, like my senior director still makes fun of me to this day. It's 20 years, 20 years. Like you could, you could forget that. Like you don't have to continue to say that, but she does. She does it. She does a me really well. She sits back and she just, she's like snarling because that's what I was doing. I was sitting in the back and I was snarling and they were doing the makeovers. And I'm like, well, that was cute. I like the way I look. I, I mean, I haven't put makeup on for a while. That was kind of fun. And so then that was okay. And then they were hugging each other and they were clapping for each other. And there was recognition. I was like, tell me more about that uh, recognition thing you speak of. Like that to me was the moment that I was in. Um, I saw these women being celebrated and I thought, Heather, when's the last time you were celebrated? When's the last time you had the opportunity to celebrate somebody else? Like there, there was such a void in my life that that was a glaringly huge sign for me of Heather, this is where you need to be. And I actually told the lady that recruited me, I did become a consultant that night. And I said, I'm not going to sell anything and I'm not going to tell anybody that I'm doing this. So that's just, just know that that's going to be the way it's going to be, but I am going to come to these things. How often do you have these things? And she's like, well, we have them every Monday. And I'm like, well, I'll be here because I was so fixed on what that could, like, it just filled me up. We was there an hour and I was like, I haven't felt like this much excitement for my life. And I know that sounds absolutely crazy. We just put chocolate kiss eyeshadow on. There was just a tiara, but man, I... I fell in love that night. And so that very, it didn't last very long that I wasn't going to tell anybody and I wasn't going to sell anything. Um, I called my cousin uh, the next day and I said, Kim, you are not going to believe what I just did. I became a Mary Kay consultant. And she goes, Heather, that is so stupid. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> I didn't even have the guts to disagree with her. I'm like, I know. She goes, we don't even invite you to home parties because you never come. And I'm like, I know. She's like, you don't even wear makeup. I'm like, I know. And she goes, well, you're lucky. Everybody in our family uses Mary Kay. So we'll just buy from you. That was when I figured out, okay, this business is not about being a certain mold or having us like having it all together or being, um, you know, Glamazon Barbie here. It was just about this product line is so dang good that all you have to say is Mary Kay. And people are like, Ooh, I need a makeup remover. I need moisturizer. I need, you know, da, 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 60 years of Mary Kay. And that was a big game changing. And she was my first recruit. <laughs> like she's still in my unit 20 years later. We laugh about that all the time, but I'm so glad that, um, that I didn't take other people's opinions or even I think more, more so than their opinions is what I thought their opinions would be. Like I knew I wasn't the type, so I wasn't looking for anybody else's validation for it. I saw something unique for myself. And if you see something like that, I would highly recommend going for it because if I am, um, my aunt was another person that said, Hey, now don't be thinking that you're going to earn one of those free cars because people like us don't get things like that. And that aunt who I treasure and love so much, so thankful I didn't listen to her, um, mostly because when she was at my house on Thanksgiving, she's like, Heather, I'm so glad you didn't listen to me. Like we laugh about it all the time. I'm like, 
Me too. <laughs> like, hi, wait, my unit right now is in qualifications for our 13th car from Mary Kay. Like if I would have listened to anybody that didn't have a great experience or didn't um, give this business their full guts, I would maybe have backed off of giving it my full guts. Cause that does sound like me, like that, that sounds like a pattern. And I think it's for a lot of women, like you, you know, somebody who did it and they, then they quit and then they tried to do something and then they didn't. And you, you take that on as yours. Don't take it on as yours. Go have your own experiences, go have your own um, journey through this. I think one of my most favorite things about this business 20 years later is the, the, you know, Janice and I were just talking about just the beauty of this really can fit anything you want it to be. This is not about a business that you fit in. It's about a business that you make fit you. And the, if you do it on social media or virtual or in person or one-on-one -on -one or in groups, it doesn't matter. You can make this fit your lifestyle at any point, at any time. And so I would say absolutely go for it. Don't there, there is not an objection that you could come to me with. And I would go, girl, you're right. You're right. I wouldn't do it either. There is nothing that you could come to me and say, this is why I can't. I would challenge you to take whatever that is and make it your reason why. And I, that, and you know, I could, I could get on a whole leadership conversation about that that has nothing to do with Mary Kay, but I do believe that our objections and our limiting beliefs and the things that we say about ourselves on why we can't do something is exactly why we have to do it. So, you know, a lot of my business has been about proving things to other people and to myself. And I don't know if anybody on the other side of this screen is thinking, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but I needed to prove to myself that I was powerful and I needed to prove to myself that I had guts and that I didn't quit things because I quit everything, everything before Mary Kay. Like, I mean, I like reformed quitter over here, but Mary Kay was so good to me. This business has been so um just letting me be me and letting me find me all at the same time. Because when you're in your 20s, you're kind of growing up with it. So whatever your reason why not to, turn it into your reason why you should. And most of that has to do with timing. Like, well, Heather, but there's this and this and this. Girl, there's always this and this and this. And so I would challenge you right now just to say yes. Put put one pinky toe or one foot or both feet in, but get something in there and give this a try because you will absolutely blow your mind because it blew my mind. So. Oh my gosh, Heather, you are amazing. Uh, that was like, I love your story. And you know, it is so real, you know, I love the fact that we, we, we all come to Mary Kay, many of us not, I'm so excited to join. I'm like, what? No, I don't think so. Cause it was the same thing for me. A year and a half, it took me to go to Mary Kay meeting. And I finally went because she said, if you come to one thing, I will shut up about Mary Kay. I'm like, okay, I'm going to the crazy meeting to meet the crazy Mary Kay people. And here I am 41 years later and 20 pink Cadillacs. So, you know, I don't know. It's cause we don't know. We don't know. So Thank you, Heather, for your um, just your sharing and all your heart. And oh my gosh, was she not amazing, you guys? That was simply absolutely unbelievable. So thank you, Heather. We so appreciate you.